Embrace Worry, the surefire guide to missing out on life. Welcome to the ultimate guide on how to let worry consume your life and miss out on all the amazing experiences and opportunities the world has to offer. In this article, we'll explore the art of worrying excessively and how it can become your trusty companion in avoiding anything remotely enjoyable or fulfilling, because why bother seizing the day when you can spend every waking moment fretting about what could possibly go wrong? So get ready to dive headfirst into the world of chronic anxiety and bid farewell to all those pesky chances for happiness and growth. Socializing who needs friends when you have anxiety? Ah, socializing, that dreaded activity where people gather to enjoy each other's company, share laughs and create unforgettable memories, but who needs all that when you have anxiety to keep you company? Why subject yourself to the horror of potential awkward conversations, embarrassing moments, or heaven forbid, rejection? For the chronic worrier, every social interaction is a minefield of potential catastrophes waiting to happen. Just the thought of making small talk or meeting new people is enough to send shivers down their spine. Instead of risking the discomfort of social gatherings, they opt to stay home, cozying up with their old pals, worry and self-doubt. While others are out there forming meaningful connections and expanding their social circles, the worry ward is perfectly content to wallow in solitude convinced that socializing is overrated anyway. Who needs friends when you have the soothing hum of anxious thoughts to keep you company? Sure, they might miss out on invitations to parties, gatherings, or even just casual hangouts. But that's a small price to pay for the peace of mind that comes with avoiding potential social mishaps, right? Besides, why bother putting yourself out there when you can stay safely within the confines of your comfort zone, nestled snugly in a cocoon of worry? And let's not forget the joy of declining invitations with a perfectly crafted excuse that masks the real reason behind your absence. Crippling anxiety. Sorry, I can't make it tonight. I have, um, plans. Translation. Sorry, I'd rather stay home and obsess over every possible scenario in which things could go horribly wrong. So while everyone else is out there living their best lives, forming connections and creating memories, the chronic worrier can take solace in the fact that they'll never have to endure the horror of a failed social interaction. After all, who needs friends when you have anxiety as your constant companion? Career success. How to stay stuck in the same dead-end job forever. Uh, the pursuit of career success. A noble endeavor for some, but a terrifying prospect for the chronic worrier. While others strive for advancement, take risks, and seize opportunities, the worrywart prefers to stay firmly planted in their comfort zone. Thank you very much. Sure, there may be dreams of climbing the corporate ladder, earning promotions, and achieving professional fulfillment. But those dreams quickly fade in the face of overwhelming anxiety. The fear of failure, making mistakes, or stepping out of line is enough to keep the chronic worrier firmly rooted in their current position, no matter how unfulfilling or stagnant it may be. While their colleagues are busy networking, taking on challenging projects, and striving for greatness, the worry ward is content to fly under the radar, avoiding any situation that might put them in the spotlight. After all, why risk the embarrassment of failure when you can coast along in mediocrity? Opportunities for growth and advancement may come knocking, but the chronic worrier is quick to slam the door shut, preferring the safety and predictability of their current role. Besides, the thought of stepping outside their comfort zone and taking on new challenges is enough to send them into a tailspin of anxiety-induced paralysis. And let's not forget the joy of watching others succeed while you remain stuck in the same dead-end job year after year. While your ambitious colleagues climb the ranks, earn accolades, and bask in the glow of success, you can take comfort in the knowledge that you'll never have to face the terrifying prospect of failure. So while others chase their dreams and strive for greatness, the chronic warrior can rest easy knowing that they'll never have to face the terrifying uncertainty of the unknown. After all, why bother pursuing career success when you can stay safely within the confines of your comfort zone, shielded from the perils of ambition and achievement? The Art of Living Why happiness is overrated when you can obsess over every worst-case scenario in a world obsessed with the pursuit of happiness. The chronic warrior stands defiant, proclaiming that happiness is vastly overrated. While others chase after joy and fulfillment, the worrywart knows that true satisfaction lies in obsessing over every possible worst-case scenario. Why bother enjoying the present moment when you can spend your time fretting about all the things that could go wrong? From minor inconveniences to catastrophic disasters, the chronic worrier is a master at conjuring up terrifying scenarios that keep them perpetually on edge. 
while others seek out opportunities for relaxation, leisure, and enjoyment. The worrywart prefers to immerse themselves in a never-ending cycle of anxiety and dread. After all, why waste precious time on frivolous pursuits when there are so many potential disasters lurking just around the corner? Whether it's worrying about the state of the world, the future of humanity, or the myriad ways in which their own life could unravel, the chronic worrier is always one step ahead, anticipating every possible catastrophe with impressive precision. And let's not forget the joy of catastrophizing every minor setback, turning molehills into mountains and trivial inconveniences into life-altering disasters. For the chronic worrier, every bump in the road is a sign of impending doom, further proof that happiness is a fleeting illusion best left to the naive and optimistic. So, while others chase after happiness and pursue lives filled with joy and fulfillment, the chronic worrier can take comfort in the knowledge that they'll never have to face the disappointment of unmet expectations or the crushing weight of dashed dreams. After all, why bother seeking happiness when you can find solace in the comforting embrace of anxiety and worry? Final thoughts. Embrace worry or miss out forever. As we come to the end of our journey into the world of chronic worrying, it's time to reflect on the valuable lessons we've learned. While the pursuit of happiness, success, and fulfillment may be alluring to some for the chronic worrier, there's a certain comfort in embracing anxiety and dread as constant companions. We've explored how excessive worrying can lead to missed opportunities in socializing, career advancement, and the pursuit of happiness. But for the chronic worrier, these missed opportunities are not seen as losses, but rather as victories in the battle against uncertainty and fear. In a world that often celebrates positivity and optimism, it's important to recognize the validity of a different perspective. While others may view chronic worrying as a hindrance or a weakness, for the worry ward, it's a superpower, a shield against the unpredictable and the unknown. So the next time you find yourself faced with a daunting social situation, a challenging career opportunity, or a chance for happiness, remember the wisdom of the chronic worrier. Embrace your fears. Revel in your worries and rest assured, knowing that you'll never have to face the discomfort of uncertainty or the disappointment of unmet expectations. After all, why bother striving for success and happiness when you can find peace and solace in the comforting embrace of anxiety and worry? So here's to the chronic worriers of the world, the masters of catastrophe, the champions of pessimism, and the true heroes of the anxious age. Embrace your worries, dear reader, and watch as the world unfolds before you in all its terrifying glory.